boy got that heat. She sits upon the waters on a scarlet color piece. The wine of fornication, yeah, for everyone to drink. Harlot of abomination, blood of mortars on the street. Golden cup has run its over, fill her double to defeat. Though they be of one mind, it's destruction to the kings. Making war with the lamb, but the lion is the sheep. When the chariots are overhead, it's running in hysteria. The king of kings and lord of lords is coming to America. Prepare slaughter for those that not reign in one hour. I was just curious, you guys can see some very bold and very like offensive. So what's your like claim? Like what's the so our claim is that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the chosen people of God. That's right. Right. What does that mean? What do you mean what does that like, mean? <laughs> like uh like what do you mean by chosen people? The chosen people give me uh do our Give me uh take measurements. Like this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Now, holy in the Bible means separate. So God has separated the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans from everybody else. Yeah. Right? The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right now he has chosen us to be a special people of, of everybody else, right? So when you have a group of people and you choose one person, that's very possessive, right? Yeah. So that's what we're talking about. The Most High saw us out of everybody else and he chose us. That's what we're saying, right? The Lord thy God had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself and he made us special. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And he set us above everybody else. Like superior? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay. So I want to ask, like, just like straight up. And I'm, like, I'm a white guy, right? <laughs> oh, really, dude? <laughs> okay. So, um. Well, what's, your, what's your ethnic so background? I'm actually. On your, on your dad's side. Yeah, my dad's, uh. He's, his background is Hungary, uh, Hungary, Hungarian. Um, hello. <laughs> gay, 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 gay. Um, so white basically and then my mom is actually Chinese Filipino so I'm kind of mixed um, but yeah so what what does that mean then for like from your point of view like for, uh, for white people Asian people you know, I'm just curious forward. I've never heard this it's actually kind of new to me I haven't seen it before so alright we're, um, we're, we're gonna teach you we're gonna teach you get my question though? yeah I'll get you, I'll get you. you're just saying like what about everybody else yeah. right right okay. so what is your do you have a religious background I uh, yeah I actually am ex-religious what does that mean? So I was, um, you ever heard of Mormons? Okay. You know Mormons? Yes. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a type of Christian. Well, I don't know, a lot of Christians don't consider Mormons Christian, but um, I grew up in that. Um, and Are you still that now? No, no, okay. I actually like deconstructed. Um, yeah. Why is that? It's a long story. I mean, it's kind of, things happen, you know? Uh -huh. uh, you learn things, you grow older, uh, you have events in your life. Um, but yeah, I was a preacher at some point. Um, oh, you were? Because you know how Mormon missionaries, like, they, they have missionaries that go off for like right. years. Right, yeah. I did that too, and like, uh, maybe this kind of reminds me of it a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's just been, a, it's been a few years. Um, I kind of got so, out of that. But I'm still interested in religion and like belief, and I like to kind of hear other people's perspectives. And so, okay, so what do you believe in now? Um, it's an interesting question. Um, it's not that I believe in something, it's that I, I choose to align myself as much as I can with reality basically how I see it, you know? Okay. And the way, I, what I mean by that is uh, sometimes like we live in reality and it, we don't like the reality is, but despite our feelings, it might still be the truth, you know? Um, so for me, it's like, oh, I would like to wish, I would like to believe in like, I wish there was like a sky dad, you know, who's got my back, I can pray to you. I would love to believe that and I used to believe that. But just because I would like to, doesn't mean it might actually be true. And so now I haven't gotten any evidence, any concrete evidence, because I like to look based by evidence. Um, especially with truth things, and I haven't had sufficient evidence to be convinced in a God anymore. Okay, we're gonna so, show we're gonna show you how we have our evidence, sure. right? Yeah, you got that. Please. In, yeah. Five, five, six. Only five. Yeah. Right. This book of Second Ezra five, Genesis. verse twenty three. Second what? Second Ezra. Se second Ezra. Ezra. Right. This is in the King. This, you know, you know the sixteen eleven before. Okay, so in the sixteen eleven, right? When King James first published the Bible, they had uh, there's these uh, com compilation of books called the Apocrypha that were taken out. Okay, right? so, so this is okay, a part cool. of those books, right? I thought so. Okay, go ahead. Verse 23. 
and said, O Lord, that bearest rule of every wood of the earth, and of all the trees thereof, that has chosen thee one only vine. So what we're bringing out right now is God has a favorite everything, right? <clears throat> and of all lands of the whole world, that has chosen thee one pit, right. and of all the flowers thereof, one lily. Right. So it's just going, going in, going in, going, how he has chosen one thing out of everything. Right. And of all the depths of the sea, thou hast filled thee one river. Right. And of all builded cities, thou hast hallowed Sion unto thyself. Right. And of all the fowls that are created, thou hast named thee one dove. And of all the cattle that are made, thou hast provided thee one sheep. And among all the multitudes of the people. Among all the what? Among all the multitudes of people. Right. So of all the people. Thou hast gotten thee one people. And unto this people whom thou lovest, Thou gavest a law that is approved of all. Right, so now this people was given a law. Give me Psalms 147 and 19. I got it. You got it? Oh, he's on it. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147 and verse 19. He soweth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. As for his judgments, they have not known them. Right. So he gave his law, like he said, he gave his chosen people a law. And it says in the Psalms that the chosen people who got this law were the Israelites and nobody else, right? Yeah. So that's what we're out here saying. That's we that we are them, that's right? Cool. Now, you said you like to believe in reality, right? Well, I mean, what I think based on my subjective experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I guess so okay. do you believe everybody has a destiny or anything like that? Uh, not outside of ourselves. Like destiny is a very internal, subjective experience. It's like, are, are we in control of our own destiny? Yes and no. Because <laughs> uh, like we can't really control the bad stuff that happens to us, and you know, reality. We get reality checks all the time. And in a way, yes, because um, you can be very, you can have a very active role in your life, and you can choose how you want to live your life and how you, what you want it to amount to after you're gone. You know, so okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. You said everybody. Does, it, does everybody has the same? Um, let, let me let me rephrase that. I got you. I got you. Does the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do they have the same amount of control over their destiny as such like a white man, or like do they have the same opportunities to control their de destiny like a white man? Absolutely not. Okay. Okay. So let me try to figure this out. Yeah, yeah. So we all have control of our own destinies, but some have more control. Yeah. Yeah, and it's not, it's not good, it's not fair. And so for me, it's like, that's why I believe reality is indifferent. You know, there's no creator looking after us. Like, existence is just unfair. And it sucks. Oh, you said it's unfair. Yeah. Right, so how would you feel about the position that so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are in? How would I feel about it? How do you feel about it? I mean, it's, I feel injustice. I feel... Okay, would you consider yourself a just man? I, I would hope so. Okay, so <laughs> how would you, okay, say, Somebody took your people, enslaved them for hundreds of years, yeah. killed, robbed, raped them, right? How, what would you do to those people that did that to you? I got you there. I would try to educate. Would you would educate them. Yeah. So you wouldn't feel angry, you wouldn't try to get, okay. I would. That's where it would come from. What type of action would you take for? Um, specifically, I mean, I would just try to speak out and, and, and spread, like, just expanding people's consciousness. Because, like, racism, it's just it's just a construct, right? It's just like, it's a made up thing. And to like when I say educate, when I say educate, I mean just help helping people deconstruct that. Because like I'm with I'm with you. It's unfair. Right. Like it's injustice. Okay. No, you know? you. No, um, let me, so that's what I would do. Let me ask you this again. Yeah. Right. So you said you would educate people. Now, what if that didn't work? Because you look at us, right? We had people like Martin. We had people like Malcolm X. Every time we try to educate, uh, we get destroyed for it. We get killed for it. Now, what? Now, what would you do then? Now you done tried to you tried the peaceful route. Yeah. You tried to educate. Uh -huh. Hey, we going through this. How about y'all do this for us, right? We all want people, right? Yeah. Now that doesn't work. Now, what type of action are you putting forth? Okay, so if I understand what you're saying, there. Tell me if I'm wrong. What I hear is maybe you're suggesting violence. I mean, I'm asking you. I, I wouldn't you be violent. I mean, okay. But maybe I'd feel differently if I went through those situations. Right, right. So right. it's 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 valid. It's a valid right feeling. Everything, every every everyone's emotions, experiences are all valid. Mm -hmm. um, but I just don't think it would be right. I just don't think violence is the answer. I mean, that's just a classic like 
but you just try peace. We try peace, you have right? No other option. That's a good. And we have no other you're option, you're right? You're me to think, cause you're right. It's and like where right. else do you go? So what do you suggest then? Like what? Would you I'll show you. Right? I'm gonna show you what the Bible suggests. It's not. It's nothing I'm saying. Okay. It, nothing okay. I'm saying. We go through, go off the Bible. It's the Book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's what we think should happen, right? He that leadeth into captivity shall now go into captivity. That's only right, okay. right? Because if you put people to slavery, it only has to come back to you, right? Eye for eye, right? Because yeah. once again, like you said, we try peace. Yeah. We try to be equal. We try to have love for everybody, but didn't work. We were no, killed no. for it. So right. my question is, um, what's like, you're, you're like, are you guys in a church or an organization? You were a church. Yeah, you have like a mission, right? And you right. Guys, you guys, and you said it comes from the Bible, but you put yeah. in the Bible and you also say your own, everything you're speaking is coming from you, right? No. Okay, well, that's fine. Mm. My, my question is, um, so I just like to, I like to speak very directly. And go ahead, go ahead. And my idea is very clear. Go ahead. Um, like, are you saying that like, um, like me as a white person, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's my my ancestors and everyone that came before me. It's we'll, we'll get to you in a second. Don't leave. Don't, don't leave. Don't leave. We'll get to you in a second. Cool, like, cool. We, yeah, we we uh, here for it. Man comes to the Father, but through Jesus Christ. Hurry. You want to talk about it? I know the truth. The truth will set you free. Well, then wait one second. <laughs> Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. What is the truth? No man comes to the Father, but through Jesus Christ. What is the truth? Hurry. What is the truth? What is the truth? What is the truth? It's Jesus Christ. So it's good. Hurry. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 15 and verse 24. Wait, will everybody be saved? Huh? Will everybody be saved? Is the, is, does Jesus love everybody? Those that come to, through Christ. Everybody? Saved. Who was Christ sent for? come through Christ are saved. Who was Christ sent for? That's why Jesus sent us, oh, God sent his only begotten Son. <laughs> You have a turn if you want. Okay. No, I don't want to end our yeah, like, yeah, the final yeah, yeah. Hold on, we'll deal with that in a we'll second. We'll deal with you later. Don't no, leave, man. We want to talk about the Bible. You love the Bible, right? You love Jesus, right? You can't leave then. All right, what did you say? Can you refresh my memory? What did you yeah, say? Yeah. Um, what do you believe? Wait for him. We're having a thing. We're having a thing. We'll get you in a second. All right, have a good one. Now, what we brought out in this one, we said, those who lead in captivity shall go into captivity, right? So right, now right. we're going to bring this up, right? Why? There's the book of Numbers, chapter 3. Ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood, it defileth the land. Right. The blood defiles the land. Mm. Our blood is shed throughout this whole country. Right. This, right. this land is defiled, man. Something has to happen to land. Payback has to happen, right? So we need to kill everyone else? I'm not... Let's read. Let's read. That's my question. Look at Numbers, chapter 35 and verse 33. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land. And the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Right, so the right, people right. who shed the blood, the white people. exactly, exactly. blood. I mean, it's not just the white people, right? Because yeah. you got Arab people He's going into our communities, buying stores, and then once we come into those stores, they act like we don't belong there. Yeah, right. Yeah, no, absolutely. So it's not just the white people, right? It's, so, uh, it's my, my my main question is like we live in the, we live in 2023, like right. society. We live together. We have different beliefs, but we're all here in the same era, right? Like we all live here together. Right. I'm a white person. Are you saying, hey, white person, you should die? That's my question. Is that the message I'm receiving? I'm not saying nothing. If you're perceiving that from what we're reading, then, hey, it is what yeah, it is. I, I came here ask, I asked I you guys, what's your guys' mission? Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. Right. All white people should die. No. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just explain it better for me. I, I'm explaining. So what yeah. we said was... Yeah. I just want no. to understand. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? There's a price to pay. Is what we're saying. Yeah, yeah. Where, where? So should I? Where? My name is Jay, by the way. Right. 
Whoops. Jay, pay that price. Genuine. Jay, was, yeah. You say yes, and I won't judge you. Like, yeah, yeah, no, listen. Yeah. Jay, we have to pay a price. Yeah. Shit, what was it? Right? So, yeah. you're not having a direct answer. It's more of an inference. It's like, yeah. you say something like, you don't say it directly. It's like, the people who inference. spill blood yeah. that defile the land, their blood has to be spilled in order for the land to be cleansed. And so, my question is now that we're here together, what now then? Right here, right now. Yeah. This plan is by God. This is not for us. Sure. We're not healed. We're not here to kill white people. Yeah, that's fine. That's something that that that's something that God is going to take out, and he's that's his wrath. Okay, I see. So right. right? No judgment. Now, now here's the thing. Oh, okay, okay. That's, that's what I'm judgment. To get. Now here's the part. Yeah. God isn't a man who comes down from his throne to do things himself. Right. He's going to use vessels. Yeah. Right. Those vessels may happen to be Israelites. Yeah. yeah. Right. Also, we believe it to be. War War III as well. Yeah, it's like right? It's coming. Coming. So listen, he will use your own people to to, to, pollute, to to cleanse the land. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, okay. Right, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to stay on that topic. All right. Okay. But do you understand like why I'm asking these questions and like yeah, what I'm trying to get to the bottom to right. and like oh you know, I believe that we're all here, we're all living here. Are you guys from Riverside? I don't know. Are you guys live here or are you guys you guys go around different cities? Either way, we all live here on the same planet, right? Like, we're all neighbors. Um, it seems like, to me, the message I get is like, oh, violence is this necessary thing. The way I like to live my life is, I say, what if we could figure out a way to be create a better future without violence? I mean, that's not, that's valid, right? Like, <laughs> but what do you think? What do you think? I'll, 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 I'll do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right, so like you said, like we said, I, I keep reiterating myself. Yeah. We tried the peace route. We so tried to educate. Tried. Exactly. Now you said something, right? You had to pay for your ancestors. You did. You Jay yeah. didn't do anything, did you? I'm only 26 years old. You're only 26 I'm years old. Right. I haven't really done right. much in life yet. Still in school. Like right. I haven't killed anybody. But it was your ancestors that did it, right? They's the ones that were killing us. Why, why, are the sins of my parents my responsibility? It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, and verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his... Prepare what? Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers. For the iniquity of their fathers. Well, I don't... I don't describe it as book. What does that mean? Basically, <laughs> now it's, you could read a book and say, well, it says here in this book, but me, I don't believe that people are responsible for their Yes, it, well, then so. what was your whole point of asking me the questions then? If I've been bringing out the Bible for damn near 20, 10 minutes with you. Now you now all of a sudden we brought. I don't think about it. Then why ask me questions? Because I want to understand how you work. Okay, then then why? You guys have a state, and I want to engage. That's what I'm. All right, so look here, right? Here's the deal. Yeah. This is what you just did. What did I do? You. Nah, we good. You just found out. I can smell you that you have to pay for the sins of your father, okay, how right? I, how should I pay? You're gonna to have to pay for that, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, you don't subscribe to it. You haven't, you didn't subscribe to it when you initially came up here, but, I'm not right, right, right. I did. But, but, but you were asking questions to find out our, our logic and our reasoning yeah. behind what we say. Yeah. So that's why the brother is saying, what are you talking about? You don't subscribe to the Bible. It's never been about you believing in the Bible. It's always been about your conversation. Why are we speaking the things that we speak? And and how does that come from the Bible? Because well, I asked a question and his response was reverse. Listen, listen. We, we, that's the that's his answer. Yeah. And that's right. why I brought that up. I said, oh well, I don't know if, we, if it's compatible. And not, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying listen, to it may not be compatible not for. Each other's opinions. No, no. What I'm saying is. Yeah. Just because you don't subscribe to the Bible doesn't mean that this is not going to happen. Doesn't right, mean that right. this is something he don't believe should happen. Yeah. Because we do believe in the Bible. Yeah. Right? And, and I believe that you believe that. Right. So, so this is what we're saying. Your judgment is according to the Bible. That you don't subscribe to, but we do. Right? Now the Bible is already telling you that there were people on this earth who were stripped of their homeland who went into captivity. 
There's people on this earth who are special, who are separate, meaning God chose them yeah. to be more special. These are all things, realistically, you can see to a group of people. Not only to those group of people, but I can start saying, what the hell is black? Yeah. Right? You are a white male. What country was your father from? Uh, Hungary. Hungary. Yeah. So he's Hungarian. Yeah. Right? What country was your father from? What country was your father from? Yeah. What country was your father from? What country was your father from? What country? You see, you see how the game play? Yeah. yeah. Right? Now the Bible is already saying that this happened to a group of people. These are black and brown. Well, these are we are all brown up here. Yeah. Right? And not only have we lost it, but our ancestors lost it. And our children, future children, right? They have to grow up into this captivity. So that's what the Bible is saying, right? Now, from a logical and realistic standpoint, yeah. could we agree that those things are happening and those things has happened? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So there adds some credit and validity to the Bible. There's uh, a, there's a, you just listen, you have the same reasoning that the Bible just said. You might not agree with how the, the captivity that we are in or what happened to quote unquote black and brown or I'll just say black and Latinos, yeah. right? But somebody has to pay for it. Yeah. Right? It's just interesting because the reason why I bring up um, your difference in the Bible, when I was very I'm only responding to I, you not subscribing to the Bible. Yeah, that's fine. But I, I, know. I, I believe that they, when it said the Israelites, I believe they're talking about me. Everyone who reads the Bible believes it's about them and that they're their chosen. Yeah, people, but you don't you subscribe know? to it, so yeah. it wouldn't, you wouldn't even. You, so, why would you believe say, you're an Israelite if Israelites only come from the Bible? Well, I don't believe it anymore. I, re I did my research. I realized, oh, I'm not. <laughs> okay, we're talking in circles now. Crazy. Huh? <laughs> Is this a racist thing? Know. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely racist. Okay, yeah, we're definitely racist. Oh, you just say how we're, we're, we're racist. We're racist in the sense that we are here to uplift the black Latinos and Native Americans, and that's who we care about. We're not racist in the sense of we want to harm other nations that's not black Latinos and Native Americans, yeah. or hang out, or be cordial, or be in the same areas and want to do something to them. That's not the type of racist we are, I didn't right? Know about the Bible. That's fine. That's fine, right? I know a lot about God. Um, yes. Bible for sure. Well, six and I'm just trying to get to a point right? where, like, I'm, like we can all, yeah, go ahead. That's fine. That's fine. Right. Make sure you go ahead. Go ahead. Right. I'm, I'm trying to come to a point, basically, of like, I believe that you know all humans are here. We all have our beliefs, right. and it's okay to disagree, and you don't have to believe what other people believe. Right. Um, but I come from a place where no matter what your belief is, it's like we're all the same species. Literally, all, species. all the human race, right? Yeah. And because of that, life, you know, if we believe life is precious, um, and we believe everyone else's life is precious, we should be aspiring to create a world where there is fairness. And yes, like, I think the argument comes out when you say, you guys have tried that. Um, and that's a good argument. And I, I don't, I'm not saying I have a response for that right now. But I, I personally believe, um, and maybe this is why I bring this up to you and why I ask what your mission is, is I, I think maybe your guys' like, mission, like your belief kind of strikes a chord with mine, and that's okay. And I, that's why I think a dialogue is interesting. But what, right. for me, I believe that we, there's still a way and a chance to find a way create a solution that doesn't have violence. Because like, why do we have well, to say someone you're gonna else say that. to die? Because it, it didn't happen to you. Yeah, of no. course you're gonna say that. So, what is this? That's why I asked, like, what okay. is, what's the end game? Uh, like, let, me, let me respond to every second. Ezra chapter six and verse 54. Right. And after these, Adam also, who now made us Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right. So, like you said, we all have one human race. Now, we believe that everybody goes back to Adam. Yeah, right? Sure. Everybody's the same human race, like we said. Yeah. Right? We agree with you. Everybody is human race. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So, everybody came of Adam and the people God has chosen. Right? That's separate and that's selective. Right? Uh, yeah. So... Uh, okay, do you guys like believe in like the end times and like... Wait, let me finish. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, all right. Calm down, I ain't taking 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. You good, man? You can. You good. Bro, you, you was going in the wrong car. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's you good, man? You good? You good? It's all good. I will read it again. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. He made the cho. He made the world for the chosen sake, right? As for the other people, as for everybody else, right? Now you said we should all value everybody's life, right? That's what you said. This is what. This is how we feel about everybody else. This is how the Most High feels about everybody else. As for the other people, which also came of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. That they are what? That they are nothing. They are nothing. You think everybody else is nothing. The Most High thinks everybody else is nothing. But be like unto spittle. Like spit. So the Most High thinks everybody else except for the chosen are like spit. That's how we feel as well, right? And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Got a big bucket of water, a little drop falls out. Do you care about that little drop? Yeah. You care about the little drop of water. We're talking about humans. Yeah. No, no. This is an analogy. Water? It's water. Yes. You got a bucket of water. The correct answer is no. The correct answer is no. Thank you. <laughs> so right. you don't care about that little drop of water. The Most High doesn't care about everybody else except really? for, except for the chosen. Believe that's what we read. You believe in a God who plays favorites. Right. Exactly. Okay. Bring, bring okay. No, that's fair. I mean, I. Question. It's not what we answer, believe. Yes, cool. Look, it's not it's not just what we believe. Okay. Even if we didn't believe it, it's literally what the Bible is saying. Bro. Right. Yeah, but have you looked into how the Bible was actually written? I mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? So when I deconstructed religion, I because it was it was because of like a search for knowledge. I wanted to know things. I wanted to understand where beliefs came from, why well, they came from. And so before you, before you get into that, sure. you first gotta understand this is not a religion for us. This is a history book. Right. As right. a so-called black Hispanic and Native Americans. Yeah. And so the Bible is partly, it obviously it's based on history. It is based on human history. Um, but when you actually look into, you know, like actually how it was written, who it was written by, you discover, like, for example, like in the New Testament, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, um, those were written by third parties. Probably, the Bible scholars think it's about like 300 AD, um, that it's actually written by the guys with those names, that it was written um, on their behalf. And like the kind of the the Jesus like story is kind of this thing that was passed on orally for a long time, you know, something that adapted. Um, if we just look into, I don't, I, this is it's a deep dive. And after you know, I was religious, I was a preacher, and then I looked into this stuff. Um, so it's okay if it sounds like kind of crazy. It is. Um, but yeah, there's like multiple examples. If you look into how the Bible was written, you realize, oh, this is just like a bunch of people kind of writing things down a long time with the belief, but at no point was there an actual deity, you know, because it would be consistent. How can you prove that? Well, it's like, that's a good question. So it's like, you can't, okay, can you prove a unicorn doesn't exist? No, because it doesn't exist. There's no evidence no, for no. a unicorn not existing. A unicorn Same with God. doesn't exist. You know? A unicorn to us is a rhino. Yeah. A unicorn is a rhinoceros. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. Okay, so, I like so, that. so, <laughs> It doesn't exist. We're talking about something that does exist, right. but you're saying it doesn't exist. Well, for me. For me. No, I'm not yeah. saying that for you. But for listen, me, that car could not exist for you. That, that exists mean, for me. I know, but what I'm saying, it, it exists. I see it, though. And right. so the, the whole point about the unicorn is it's technically it's something that you have to have faith in because you don't have actual tangible evidence. So you don't see God's creation on this earth? I see something that was created. I don't say it was something okay, called God. Okay, so that something that's created yeah. implies has a creator. To, right. You would think. <laughs> listen, man. Listen. And that's okay if you don't believe There's that. There's nothing on this earth, right, mm -hmm. that just floats out of thin air. Yeah, technically, yeah. That's that comes true. around. So who was the creator to this creation? So you're going to tell me no intelligence is behind, right? That's kind of like an unanswerable question. So people who don't believe in God, we're not saying that... That's not unanswerable to science. Well, certain people, um, you know, religious people, they have the answer. Some people like me, um, I don't believe in that. Hold and, on, one second. Okay. Scientifically speaking. Sure. Something that's created has to have a creator. Yeah. Something that's created has to have a creator. Right, right, right. So that's where we have to start, and that's where we have to deal with. Yeah. Whether you want to believe it's God, whether you don't want to believe it's God, it has to have a creator. Yeah, no, I, I don't disagree with that, and that's the thing. I don't take a hard stance. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. If, you di if you don't disagree with there has to be a creator behind the creation, then you can't confidently say there's no God. 
You yes. can't even begin. You're actually right. Yeah. You can't even begin to sit on that and and take that as a belief. Yeah. You still have to. <laughs> figure out the loophole in the worm, you still have to go through the wormhole. Yeah, so as, as someone, um, I think something that people get wrong about atheists is that they're making like, is it, it's as if the atheist is making a claim. It's not that we're saying God definitely doesn't exist. I, I can't say that. But what atheists are saying is we don't have enough evidence to convince, enough to convince us ourselves personally that we can believe in God. Right. That's all it is. Anyway, it's, not, right. it's not a claim. It's more just a, we're opting out from of religion. Does that make sense? Right. And so we believe people who are allowed to opt out of religion should be able to live in peace with people who are religious. Okay. And like we should, we should all be helping each other. So that's the core of my belief. Well, I don't want to lose the track of what we were saying earlier about the Bible, though. But we just as far as what? Was. But when I was saying how I was studying the Bible and how the reason why I don't believe in the Bible anymore is because I, I looked, I learned even oh, more right, about right. it. And I discovered, oh, this isn't actually what I was told it was. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not saying you have to believe that. I'm just letting you know. Listen, that. we understand you don't believe it. Yeah. You learned from liars. Okay. <laughs> you learned from liars. You didn't even have the apocrypha when you was learning as a preacher. I, I talked. You didn't even have the whole book. I talked. Yeah. No. I, I I read the Gospel of Judas, the Gospel of. Peter, Listen, Gospel you can't marry. I read all the extra stuff too, actually. Was, and I love right. that stuff. I, I kind We're going to show you where you're messing up, right? Okay. We'll show you where you're messing up, right? Oh, you're back. We'll show you where you're messing up. Yeah. I can go on for days. I'm a dialogue. Now listen, we, we love to have we love to have this dialogue for, for, for days. Can I take too much time, by the way? You have time. No, no, listen. It's, it's just, all right. This book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 7. All right. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, Judas, Peter. No, it says I come in the volume of the book. Go ahead. Okay. I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. It is written of me. Right? The whole book. You're not going to be able to understand the Bible, right? If you don't read the whole Bible, you have to get the books that wasn't supposed to be there because they took them out because they knew if that information was read, then black, Latinos, and Native Americans would piece together information. Okay. And Never seen before. A new evil arises on the block of Riverside. A demonic presence taking the form of a celebrity look-alike. We call him Nicholas Uncaged. Has he come to give assistance to his zesty bestie gay? I mean, <clears throat> Jay? Or is his intentions elsewhere? Your, my mother would be gone. Guys, look, this is out Right? Oh, Will everybody be saved? Is the it just Hey you Huh? Yeah you Huh? I see you scrolling with them dry ass lips. Who's my sitboard? That's why Jesus said God said it's only begotten son. Uh 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 don't you try and lick him now. You gotta be doing me like that. Dry lips have an ass. 